I had not been anywhere else but Africa. I had not presented to any large crowd rather than to my classmates. I was now supposed to fly for more than 20 hours to go and present my first conference paper at the world largest technical professional organization, IEEE. Imagine how my feelings were. Imagine the excitement, the fear, how nervous I was. Imagine the roller coaster of my emotions. Imagining myself in front of the people coming from different parts of the world, from all walks of life. The imposter syndrome in me grew even more. Who am I to be at such an event? But your question must be, who are you not to be? Remember, for the paper to be accepted, it means there is something noble about it. And there is definitely something about you. Therefore, I challenge you to take the conference presentation by its horns. So now, what did I do to prepare for this conference? I started by checking with the conference website on the requirements for the presentation. I checked for the PowerPoint template, if there was any available, the time allocated per presentation, and many more things that you might need to check for. If the template is provided, then well and good, make sure that you follow the given template. If it's not provided, then you have to make sure that you are as professional as possible when designing your PowerPoint. If possible, if you can avoid animations, avoid animations. Choose the colors that are not too bright nor too dull. Choose the visible font size. The font size should not be too big, but again, it shouldn't be too small. On the conference that I was attending, the time allocated per presenter was 12 minutes. So I made sure that I planned my slides within 12 minutes. So in these 12 minutes, I made sure that I communicated the key points. So you make sure that you bring out your problem statement, the background of your research, the motivation, the contribution, the solutions to the problem that you've identified. So now how did I do this? I had to practice. So I practiced and practiced and practiced. I presented to my family members, I presented to my friends, and I presented to the mirror. I presented to myself. I made sure that even when I was talking to the mirror, I was literally talking, not just reciting in my head, but I was talking to the mirror. I would ask myself questions and see if I'm able to answer any question in case I'm asked. So I framed my own questions and I tried to answer them in front of the mirror so that I could have that confidence. So this gave me the confidence to face this presentation. In my own opinion, it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. In fact, it was better than my class presentations. I realized that people at the conference are there to share ideas, to share knowledge, to collaborate. For the paper to be accepted, it means that you have ideas that you have to share to the world. So make sure that you go and share your knowledge and learn something as well. Otherwise, it was a very educative, interactive and relaxing environment that you wouldn't want to miss.